So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to calculate an xy coordinate of a point feature in ArcGIS Pro. So let's get started. So to calculate an xy coordinate first we need to import our point feature into our ArcGIS Pro. So for that go to the option called edit. Go to the view section and click the option called catalog pan. So here a new window has been popped up saying catalog. So here you have to now navigate to your point shape file containing different point features in it. So now I'm going to navigate to my folder containing point shape file. So here my folder containing shape files. So now here the point shape file. So now let me uh, insert this point shape file into ArcGIS Pro. For that let me right click and uh, add to the current map. So you can now visualize the point data here so there is a cherry creek reservoir there is a point here and there is another point called cherry creek reservoir state park and similarly there is another point feature called quincy reservoir and here the cherry creek spillway and finally we have our fox field so now let me show you the attribute table of this point shape file so in go to the table of content section right click and click this option called attribute table so here you can visualize the number of point features available in our shape file, the point shape file. So here you can able to visualize there is around six, six point uh, features in this uh, point shape file. So we're going to calculate the x y coordinate of this point features in ArcGIS Pro. So now you can visualize the different point features in this uh, study region. So you can also change the color of this point just by right click on the point symbol and you can choose your desired color. So you can uh, visualize it, the point features be indicated in red color. So basically when it comes to, uh, to calculate the coordinates that is xy coordinates of a point. So to calculate an xy coordinate in ArcGIS Pro, first we need to create a two fields. The, so the two fields will be x and y coordinates that is x represents, x and y represents the latitude and longitude. So we need to create a two fields called x and y representing latitude and longitude. So before I'm going to create the two fields, let me show you my coordinate reference system. So to view the coordinate reference system of the current map, you have to go to the map, right click and uh, go to the properties. So here you can able to visualize, here you can able to visualize here that is a coordinate system, click this option. So you can now visualize the current coordinate reference system that is WGS1984 Web Mercator. So now let me uh, close this. So you can also check the coordinate reference system of our point point shape file. So to the to uh, so to see that you have to right click and uh, go to the option called properties. So here you can able to so here you can able to visualize there is an option called a source. Click this option source. So here you can able to see there is a uh, spatial reference. So click this. Now you can able to visualize the, the projected coordinate system. So currently the projected coordinate system it is in WGS1984 Web Mercator. So both our current map and the point uh, shape file is in similar projected coordinate system that is WGS1984 Web Mercator. So now click OK. So now let us go ahead and uh, add two fields X and Y coordinate in the attribute table. There is two fields called x coordinate that is x field and y field. We are going to create two fields called x and y. So to do, uh, do that we have to click this option called uh, add a field. So now let me enter the field name as x. So I entered the field name as x and let us select the data type. So uh, in the x and y coordinate it contains the decimal places. For that we are going to select the data type as a double. So now let us add an another field, add a new field. So let me add a uh, new field uh, name as Y. So now I have entered the field name as Y and let us select the data type as a double. So now let me select the data type as a double. And after that you have to uh, click this option called save. Click this option called save to create a new fields that is X and Y. So now we can able to visualize in part of the, the point uh, attribute table the x and y has been created, the x and y field has been created. So we have created a two empty uh, fields called x and y. 
So now let us uh, go ahead and fill the x and y coordinates of the point features. So to calculate the x coordinate, all you have to do is right click on the x field and select the option called calculate geometry. So here a new window has been popped up saying calculate geometry. So uh, by default it's selected the, it has selected our x field and we let us select the property. So we're going to select the point x coordinate. So now let us select the coordinate format. So in that we're going to select the, so we're going to select the decimal degree. So we have selected our projected coordinate system as the WGS 1984 web Mercator. So now to uh, calculate the geometry, click OK to run. So now we can able to visualize an attribute table in the x coordinate. We have filled our we have filled our x coordinates for the point features. So now we have calculated our longitudinal va longitudinal values. So now let us calculate our latitude values. So now to calculate the y coordinates. So now to calculate the y coordinate, all you have to do is right click and go to the option called calculate geometry. So in that, the, the y field has already uh, selected and select in the property section, you make sure that you select the point a y coordinate. In property section, make sure that you select point y coordinate. Next in coordinate format, select decimal degrees and in coordinate reference system, you select as a WGS 1984 web mercator. So now click OK to, to calculate the geometry of Y coordinate. So now you can visualize in the attribute table, we have calculated X and Y coordinates. So we have managed to calculate X and Y coordinates from each of these point features. So in this video, I have shown you how to calculate an XY, XY coordinate of the point features in ArcGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.